Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Harmony One. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and you should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And if you haven't seen the previous update, I would suggest you watch that before watching this one so that you have more context. Now, let's jump into the TA. So jumping into the daily chart, you can see I have a very large Fibonacci retracement set up with the swing low printed in June of 2021 and the swing high printed in October of 2021. And uh, this is actually the four hourly chart. Let me switch over. All right, this is a bit better on the daily chart, actually. And as you can see, we have our 1.618 target all the way down here at 0.01323 cents and that's exactly where we landed right now and I was talking about this 1.618 target for ages I let you know that the 1.618 is our technical target because after you lose the first fib level over here and you've done that precisely in May of 2022 which is right over here your technical target is the 1.618 and then you have the second fib level as your capitulation target. So if I remove the smaller fib just so it doesn't cover up the levels. So that blue trend line, that is our 1.618 level. And ex what we're doing right now as well is this low that we're printing here is actually bouncing off of this high that we printed in August of 2020. So essentially, once you broke above that, in uh, February of 2021, you haven't retested that as support, and that's pretty much what you're doing right here. So if we go lower than this, you know, it, it is going to be negative. I'm not going to lie. I don't know uh, anything bullish about Harmony in terms of news because I don't follow the project that closely. I don't I don't dollar cost average into Harmony one. I don't have any tokens. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad project. I simply like other projects. That's why I'm buying into uh, into other into them basically. And you don't have to be buying into Harmony One just because I say this is a good buying opportunity either. You have to do your own research. You have to believe in the project, and you have to know that uh, with the team that's behind the project, you are confident. Uh, in the price and you're confident in the fact that the price is going to retrace back to the previous all-time high and uh, and then some so if we take the 1.618 fibonacci retracement from the high in august all the way down to the low in june we have our 1.618 target at one cent over here so 0 0.01047 that's going to be your technical target and that's uh, actually when we start losing the the june low here in november this is our technical technical target right now. So there is a big chance we might hit that level tomorrow because we're getting the inflation data. And if it's worse than expected, I think crypto is going to take another hit and we're going to go even lower. But that's for the short term, mid term, long term. I'm very, very, very bullish on crypto. And I think the next two years, you have an incredible opportunity to make a lot of money, to make life changing gains and you have to be patient, you have to have a game plan, and you have to stick to that game plan because if you deviate from your plan, from your well-thought-out plan, chances are things are going to get bad for you. So I've learned this the hard way, so trust me, you need to know when to buy in in advance, and you want to know where are you going to be taking profits in advance. If you're buying to hold for the next two to five years, then that's fine. Just buy off of the support levels. You need to buy on days like these if you're looking for a short to midterm trade as well. Because even if we come back down to or come back up to the 1.414, that's going to be a 53% move to the upside. And I think that's pretty good. And that's going to be roughly at two cents. So that is something to keep an eye on. As well, this resistance here at 0 0.01702, that's another level you want to keep an eye on. And the descending yellow uh, support trend line that we had here, and we lost it in November. And uh, we're holding the 1.618 for now, and we may retest this yellow trend line as resistance. So something like this could potentially happen, right? And you get squeezed up between these two, and you either break to the downside or you break to the upside. We'll, we'll talk about that later. We want to see what happens with the inflation data first, and then we're going to be able to 
sort of see what November could hold in store for us. Now, jumping to the daily RSI, we are in the buy zone here, perfectly bouncing off of the buy zone that I gave you off of the golden buy zone here. Anywhere from 36.4 to 32.2. The last time we did that was at the end of October and we had a very bullish move to the upside. We got to the overbought on the RSI and from there we fell back down. Obviously, you have the blue buy zone here below the index of 30, anywhere between 24 and 21. That's an incredible buying opportunity for Harmony 1 because the last three times you were in this zone, you had a very strong retracement to the upside. In fact, the last one or the last one out of the four uh, moves or bounces off of that zone, you actually went to the overbought into August. So keep an eye on the RSI. This is, that's a very good indicator for you to use. And yeah, that's regarding the daily chart here. Like I said, Harmony 1 is at a very good buying opportunity here. Let's switch over to the Binance website. And before we continue the video, I quickly want to mention my Patreon. Now, if you like the channel and you like the content that I provide for you on this channel, then feel free to check my Patreon out for more exclusive content like low cap gem calls, my buy alerts, my sell alerts. I do take a look at your technical analysis requests at your video requests. As you can see, there are multiple tiers which you can choose from. And if you want to support the channel, then this is the best way to do so. As you can see, I do post quite frequently. I have almost a thousand posts, I think there, or getting closer to a thousand anyway. And I did start my Patreon a year ago. So yeah, let's get back to the video. Now, the weekly chart for Binance, as you can see, we are in the buy zone that I gave you on this chart in the last couple of videos, anywhere from 0 0.01761 to 0 0.01345. And as you can see, we're just above this support right now, which is the high that we created in August of 2020. A lot of altcoins are doing the exact same thing. They're coming back to their previous highs and they are retesting those highs as support. Now, I would also take a look at the 20 weekly EMA for any swing trade or any exits. If you want to buy it right now and exit off of the 20 weekly EMA, totally understand that. Some people just want to exit the coin. Some people want to, you know, go in for a trade, short term, long term, mid term trade, and they are, you know, trying to leave the token. That's totally fine. This is what trading is for. So I'm giving you some exit here or exit points. Obviously, you have a major, major resistance zone here uh, that we created the low in June of 2021. That's going to be a major level for us to retest because we haven't done that since we lost it in May of 2022. And that's going to be at 0 0.06492. And below that, you have a support level at or a resistance level, I should say, at 0 0.03076. And that's the high that we printed in June of 2019. So you have a couple of levels above you right now that you want to be pay paying attention to. But if you're holding for the long term, I would really just don't care about these levels. And I'd simply buy on red days. I would dollar cost average in. And let's say this is our low. Let's say this is our um bear market low for Harmony 1 and we take that low and we drag a Fibonacci retracement all the way to the October 2021 high, we get a target at $3 here for Harmony 1. From where we are right now, all the way up to $3, that's a 22,400% move. And I think that's incredible. Now, will that happen 100% guaranteed? No, I don't know if that's going to happen. But if we take a look at some previous moves here for harmony one actually let's see what what this uh what this does here so if we take that low from march of 2020 to the high in june of 2019 we had our 1.618 here at 23 cents and we just went above that as you can see right this was our technical target the 1.618 and from that low to there we did a 30 thousand percent move in uh, in what in a year and a half so it is possible it is always possible if harmony one isn't going to turn out to be a scam project which i am highly confident it isn't uh do your own research 